Okay, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite time saver and productivity tool inside Composer. It's the thing that I use every single time I'm here. And that is this button right here. Update views with selected actors. So what the heck is this? Well, if you make a change to a view, and uh, let me just create a, a, a temporary view here. If I make a change to a view and I put it like this, and, and maybe I change the background, something, and I click on my view in this one, which is update view, well, of course, that stores every single thing in the view. Well, what this particular button does here is it only updates the views with the things that you select, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory, but here's an actual situation that you might find yourself uh, where this will be a huge time saver. So here I've got a series of views of this rod here being assembled. So first we put this pin in, then we put that piece in, then we put the uh, bolts in, the nuts, and then the piston. Oops, that's out of order. What I really want to do is this greenish pin piece here, I don't want that to move in view 01. I want it to stay where it is, and I want it to stay where it is in 2, 3, and 4 as well. I don't want it to move at all. So what I can do is, at this position that I have right here, let's just go ahead and pick multiple views, and then this magic button here, what that will do is and you see the thumbnails get redrawn, is it now it holds that in position the entire time. So as I go through these different views, you'll see that it doesn't move. So that's a great tip because it allows me to make a change that I want and push that change into different views. Uh, so let's say also that in step number one, I would like this particular piece to come down. And of course, we'll do that in all of these views too. So now I've just totally changed this around so that I've got my first view, second step, now the piston head goes down. All the other pieces go to come start coming together. And last, the pin goes in. Now, I'll show you how fast that is. I'll do it over again. And I'll do both things in one action. All right, so I realize I've kind of made a mistake here. So what I want to do is I want this guy to be in position, that guy to stay where he is, and I want that in one, two, three, and four. Go. There. Now I have just updated that in about two seconds. So it is a great way to go in and make mass changes on only very specific things that you want to do. Here's another example. Let's say I go in and I add some navigation buttons here and put them right there. I want them in all my views. Okay, select all my views, update with selected, and there. Those navigation buttons are now in every single view that I want. Now let's say I don't quite want them there. I don't want to show those two guys, so I'll hide them and uh, Okay, we'll update views with selected, meaning hide them in all views. Okay, let's take this guy here, make him nice and big. This guy over here, make him nice and big. And of course, if I want to do magnet lines or I want to do styles and so on, I can do all those things. But again, it's real quick to go in and make these changes and push them everywhere. So I use this all the time. So that's my tip for this week. Your nice option here to update views with selected actors, whatever those actors might be. Could be a 2D actor, collaborative actor, could be 3D geometry, and it could be multiple actors that you selected and then you can update multiple views at one time. Fantastic, fantastic tool.